Hey guys, welcome back to more AFK Arena. In today's video, we have uh, Ganeus, Guineas, whatever his name is in the game. Dude looks like an absolute savage. As for his kit, I'm unsure. He's a tank that seems to want to do damage, shield, and yeah, that's and also has some CC. I, I just don't know if the values are going to be big enough. But you guys let me know what you, you think. It's going to take some testing on him. We'll have to see how he falls. He does have a furniture that's really good support too. We can get some damage increases and some damage mitigation. So maybe he becomes good. I, I, I just, He's just one of those ones where I look at it and I'm like, I don't know. That's where I'm at with him. But he looks cool. I got You got to love a dwarf with the big hammer. There's nothing wrong with it. Hammer or axe, take your pick. All right. Let's get into it. Leaden Smash. Passive. He... Uh, his burst hammer can hold up to six shells. At the start of the battle, it has three shells. If there are shells remaining when he deals damage with one of his skills, one shell will be consumed to increase its damage by 60% uh, of his attack rating. Active, he loads his burst hammer with shells, lifts it high, then swings it on the ground, dealing AoE damage three times, each time extending to a wider range. This knocks enemies into the air and stuns them briefly, so it's like an interrupt type thing, I'm assuming. Then uh, the damage dealt for each time is 230%, 280%, 330% of his attack rating respectively, and he's immune to control effects while using the skill. And then Level up is really nice. At the start of battle, he gets six shells. So basically, he's going to have these shells. And as he uses his other skills, he will consume them on those skills to get extra effects. Then once he's out of shells, he's got to use his ultimate to load them back up and keep going. That's sort of the way he plays. And then we go, uh, when shells are consumed, the damage dealt by him ignores enemies dodge. Not too bad ignoring dodge, but like I just don't know how his damage isn't going to be big enough to it, it's it's an, it's a confusing kit to me but you guys let me know what you think moving on from that uh hefty strike he smashes the uh enemies within a certain range in front of him with his burst hammer dealing damage equal to 250 percent of his attack rating and reduces enemies haste by 40 points for five seconds uh we go up to 270 multiplier if shells are consumed he stuns the enemies close to the center of the hammering point for 2.5 seconds which goes up to three seconds so we've got some control in there we've got the knock up with the slight stun, which is like an interrupt. We've got this one here, which is a three second stun. It's going to depend on the on the on how often he uses these. I haven't actually gone in and watched him yet. I've just read the skills. Uh, moving on from that, he charges to the side of the enemy who has dealt the highest damage. After dealing damage once for 200% of his attack rating, he loads shells and taunts nearby enemies. When it says he loads shells, I'm assuming he loads all six um, and taunts enemies for six seconds. While taunting, he is immune to control effects and damage received is reduced by 50%. After the taunt ends, 100% percent of the damage reduced during the taunt is converted into fearless shields to be distributed to all allies now i'm assuming that means the amount that's the amount that he mitigates and every ally gets a shield worth that amount I'm guessing that's how it works. The minimum and maximum value of the shield shall be 10% and 25% of his max health, respectively. The shields also uh, the shield also knocks nearby enemies airborne and deals damage equal to 200% of his attack rating. If the if he is using another skill at when the taunt ends, he distributes the shields after the skill ends. So basically, it, it can't distribute until he finishes whatever skill he's doing. Uh, allied heroes protected by the fearless shields receive 25 healing points. When a fearless shield ends, the remaining value is converted into healing for the shield wielder. Uh, and then we got the... What's this? 30 engraving. All remaining shells are consumed for the first damage dealt. Okay, so I'm assuming like I, 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 this is one I'm not too sure on the practice whether he's going to get like normally six or three or four or whatever it is. But if you got four, that's an additional twenty percent, which brings him up to seventy percent mitigation. If you got six, it brings him to eighty percent mitigation. You're getting pretty decent numbers, uh, which once again you still can get one shot in campaign. But honestly, and you've got a shield for mitigation. I don't know. I 
they could be super tanky. I, it's just like I said, it's just one of those ones. You just got to gear him up, slap him in, and see how he goes to get a real feel for it. So let's jump into the next skill. Uh, he swings his burst hammer, dealing damage to enemies in front of him twice each for time for 220 percent of his attack rating. If shells are consumed for the first damage, and the enemy's remaining shield value is lower than 1,000 percent of his attack rating, he destroys the enemy's shield. So he's got like dodge. Uh, like he avoids dodge here and he just smashes shields here is what he does um he destroys the enemy shield and grants himself a fearless shield with a value equal to 50 percent of the destroyed shields value up to 20 percent of his max health for seven seconds if shells are consumed for the second damage he knocks the enemy airborne and stuns them for two seconds so we've got two seconds done there we've got a what is it three seconds done there and we've got like an interrupt stun there um all right let's go on to the skill ups increases the damage to 250 percent enemies are stunned for 2.5 seconds and then 60 engraving for every six shells consumed he grants his ally that has dealt the highest damage a fearless shield that can mitigate damage equal to 35 percent of his max health i guess with melee characters and stuff that might come into play for lunging maybe not too sure let's go to the signature item uh, each time shells are consumed, the damage dealt this time is increased by 80% of his attack rating. So it's just a buff to that. Each time shells are consumed, the damage is increased by 100% now. Uh, his normal attack is enhanced, dealing a rippling damage for 90% of his attack rating to the target and enemies behind them. So it's like a shockwave type thing. And then at level 30, when he receives damage that exceeds 20% of his max health, he takes 90% less damage and loads one shell. This effect can only trigger one time every six seconds. So that adds like, that's sort of like, you know, you one big mitigation as well. Honestly, there is a lot of mitigation in his kit. It could be enough. Um, then furniture, for every one shell consumed, he receives one stack of Will of Steel. Each stack of Will of Steel increases the damage he deals by 3% and reduces the damage he takes by 3%. This effect can be stacked up to 20 times. So you can get up to 60% damage mitigation. And I don't think that, that surely that's not additive with this mitigation. Because if it is, he's basically just invincible for that. Because, because if you're stacking up to 60% mitigation on top of, well, what do we say? You can get up to 80 if he uses all the shells. Like, you're, like you're, you're into negative mitigation range. Like, I, I don't know how that adds up. If someone knows, let me know. Um, but yeah, also up to a 60% damage increase. Not too bad. But this is the one where I think he can have some nice supportive use as well. Um, but it's like, it's like, how often do you get that far? Maybe Curse Realm and stuff, you know, because you're playing longer fires, you're getting there. Um... This one, at the start of battle, he has five stacks of Will of Steel, while other allies with the Fearless Shield also gain damage buffs and damage reduction corresponding to the current number of stacks of uh, of his Will of Steel up to 12 stacks. So allies can get up to 36%, but it's only the ones with the Fearless Shield, and the Fearless Shield is the one that gets applied here through this, I believe. I don't think the other ones are called Fearless Shields. Okay, no, I got it wrong. So th this is also a Fearless Shield that he gives to everyone. So his whole team is going to be getting this, and it depends on the uptime of this, but that's what we're pretty much looking at for his shielding. Dude, they, they keep trying to make skilled description is just hard to understand what's going on all right let's jump over here begin let's put on one time speed let's see oh one time speed please okay that's where he lunges okay so i love it when they've got good visuals for the shells i love the good visuals so it loads them all up goes boom 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 the shield comes on he goes boom he's gonna go boom stun honestly i i really like him just because they got it all you need to do to please me is have a good visual on stuff like the shells. It's all you need, and I'm pretty happy. So he's loaded up all the shells with that other ability. I don't, I don't know, but I really like him. He's one of those characters that I feel like he's just really, he'd be really fun in the early game because you can really see what he's doing, and it like feels, it, it feels nice. But in the end game, he's probably just going to get clapped. <laughs> we'll have to see. Well, let's jump out of that. Let's jump into here. Curious to put him with some damage. Do we have any damage on the team? We do they don't even give us like damaging options. Like we've only got Gwyneth. But the, like we can't even make Gwyneth work properly because the enemies, they're on the back row. Come on, guys. We could be better than this. Uh, let's not take you. Let's like just do this. Uh this and this 
Let's just see. I want to. I want to see what kind of like. Uh, I just don't. We're not going to get a good gauge out of this. I was hoping we'd have another really solid damage dealer, so we could just like at least compare that for now until we get to test him. Let's have a look. I mean, he's doing some CCs. Obviously, another character that's really going to appreciate grouping. It could could be a target for the floppy Mulan team. <laughs> Dude, I love that team. I absolutely love that team. Okay, here he goes. Boom. Boom. Not really doing too much. Let's, let's just speed this up. I can't really tell too much from this battle. Honestly, really can't tell too much. Let's have a look. Yeah, when Scrake's doing as much, you, you're not really doing... Um, you're not really doing deeps. <laughs> I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Is that mitigation enough? Is the support enough? I'm not too sure. We'll test him tomorrow. Anyway, guys, that is going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day and I look forward to seeing the next one. Cheers.